Hey there, I'm here to interview the co-founders of Scruff. Any idea where I can find Eric Silverberg? Oh, wow, what a gorgeous <clears throat> uh, office. Eric, hi. Hi. I'm here to ask you some questions. Sounds good. Uh, who are you? I'm Eric Silverberg, the CEO and co-founder of Scruff and Jack. And what do you do? Code. If you had to describe Scruff in one word, what would it be? Woof. <laughs> and ooh, what is going on over here? We're making our new Scruff merchandise. Oh, tough job. Could be harder. How many woofs do you send in an average day? Depends. Is it Fleet Week? Yeah. What is your favorite thing about working for Scruff? Our talented global team. What is the one thing people would be surprised to know about working behind the scenes at Scruff? It's not an orgy every day. Hey, wait a second. How often are you on Scruff yourself during a normal weekday? At breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Honestly, sounds delicious. And who do we have in here? Hello, I'm Johnny, co-founder of Scruff, but you can call me Johnny Scruff. Oh, how did you two meet? Well, Johnny is the frat brother of my best friend that I met 20 years ago at a house party. And what was the genesis of Scruff? Well, a bear and a twink had sex, and then they broke up. <laughs> what makes the Scruff community unique and different from other apps? Nice people, better conversations, and higher standards. Hmm. What is the craziest thing you've seen or encountered while working on Scruff? Well, there was the time those guys reverse engineered the app to create frosted scruff icon candies for their wedding cake. Wow. What is your top priority when it comes to the scruff audience? Trust. Johnny, Eric, I'm talking to a really hot guy and I have a very important question. Do we chat first or do we unlock right away? Send 10 chats first, then unlock. Two of you and you might seem a little too thirsty. I am very thirsty. Oh. I saw him on the global grid, and it says that he's in P-Town right now. Well, we'll be sponsoring events in P-Town and all over the world next year. Amazing. Pack your bags, boys. P-Town it is. Oh, wow, she's fast in heels. Uh, Eric, fill in the blank. If there's one thing I want our members to take away from being part of our community, it's... Validation. Oh, I love that. Here you go, Prince. Ooh, thanks. What do you think our most successful marketing campaign has been? I would say the Queer Film Festival that we did for Scruff and Jacked. Not only do the members love it, but it also gave us a platform for representation. What does this company do that other companies don't? Our company has a full-time lobbying effort in Washington, D.C., advocating for rights for LGBTQ plus people in digital spaces. What is a misconception you think some people might have about Scruff and Jacked? That is just for sex. It isn't? Yes, I saw. How do you ensure your audience's privacy and safety? Well, we don't sell or share our members' data with shady third-party ad networks, unlike other apps. Clearly it's up. It's just a better choice. Mm. It's so basic. I'm gonna go with hey, like it's more friendly, it's personal, we're trying to get to know the person. Listen, I don't care if we're at an all-time high. We need more books! What's going on in here? Oh, nothing. But a few questions for you. Oh, what is your favorite opening line to use on Scribe? Honestly, anything with the upside down smiley face emoji. He's so cute and nobody can tell me what he means. And if you could describe your private album using a movie title, what would that be? Love Actually. Main photo. Shirt or no shirt? No shirt. What's your favorite hashtag? Hashtag free Britney. Orange is here. Good work team, keep it up. Okay, Eric, what is your proudest accomplishment that you've achieved for Scruff? Normalizing queer sexuality in mainstream culture. And lastly, what is your parting message for the Scruff community? Just remember that every relationship has a beginning, and sometimes it starts with a woof.